Hello again, Garth Haslam, the home medic. You know, there's no system in your home that is more important than your electrical system. It can keep your family happy, warm, and safe if it's right. On the other hand, if it's not right, your family is very much at risk. The centerpiece of your home's electrical system is, of course, the, uh, the breaker box. And this particular box, as we open it up, you can see that we've got, uh, we've got a number of breakers here. That's a good thing. But the first thing you might notice, if you've got a trained eye, is we've got some gaps in here. Each one of these gaps is a place where a breaker should be or might have been, but is no longer. It's also a place for a teenager to start poking his finger in there, or maybe some sort of a stick or a uh, steel pipe or who knows what. He sticks those sorts of things in there. Guess what? You've got one less child. Another important place to check on your electrical system in your home is the GFIs. Now, ground fault interrupters or GFIs should be located in the kitchen, in the bathrooms, in the garage, on the outside, basically anywhere where you're mixing water and electricity. What you're going to want to use is one of these electrical testing devices, one with a little button on it. This, the purpose of this button is to actually uh, test the GFI to make sure that it's functional or not. Let's use this button on this particular ground fault interrupter. You can tell that it's a GFI because it has this test and reset button here. And as you push your, your tester in, you can see that two lights come on. Now these uh, particular tools can be found at Home Depot or Lowe's or most hardware stores. But as you push this button, you see that it actually trips the GFI, the buttons go off, we've lost power. That's a success. You can turn that back on by pressing the reset button on the GFI. You should do this test at every ground fault interrupter plug located within your house. After you're done taking a look at your GFIs and your breaker box, just take a look around your house and look for things that, uh, that might be dangerous. Loose, frayed wires, maybe electrical plugs that might not be attached. This is one example of that here, and this is on a furnace. As you look down here, you can see we've got a cover plate that uh, has one screw on the top, no screws on the bottom. So, again, if you were a child and uh, you wanted to stick your finger in here, or maybe start shoving quarters and dimes and nickels in there. Uh, real good way to get yourself electrocuted. So, $10 fix is actually about a 10 cent fix in this particular case. It's the cost of a screw and putting it in. The $10,000 fix, you're burying a child. The electrical system is the most important system in your house. It needs to be functional, it needs to be proper, and it needs to be safe. I'm Garth Haslam, the home medic. Thanks for watching.